this is method two for treating a bony heel spur or posterior calcaneal spur in this case. We'll start by removing the 15mm convex head and replacing it with a 15mm concave head on the Gymna Shockmaster 300. This is the deep impact head, the copper coloured head. We usually use more pressure for bony heel spurs so we're going to go up to 3.5 bar. Uh, we're going to go to 2000 shocks at 10 hertz. We've applied some gel to the leg and we're going to start by doing spots of 200 shocks. As you can see here we're coming across from the medial side of the leg through the spur to the outer side of the leg and we'll continue to do spots around the calcaneal spur. This is a posterior spur, not an inferior spur that some people would refer to as plantar fasciitis or a plantar fascia spur. Once you've done 200 spots to one area, you can go the opposite way and do 200 spots back through from the opposite side. The benefit of doing the shocks in this way is that the skin gets a chance to recover in between sets of shocks and of course you hit the spur from every angle which is quite an important thing when you're trying to break down pieces of what are essentially bone or calcified scar tissue. Now we come across from the top this would be the more traditional method and the method you saw in version 1 of this video where you stay on the, from the top all the time. Because this breaks down part of the calcaneal spur it's very important that when you do this treatment the patients refrain from any sort of impact loading activity hopping, skipping, jumping, landing and running uh, because a lot of people get these spurs from running that can be quite a blow to them and here they're not allowed to run and I generally don't allow them to run for four weeks after they've had the treatment the reason for that is that they still get changes in the spur for four weeks after you finish the treatment and so you don't really want them putting heavy impact loading through it during that time. Just coming up to the end of the treatment now.